let's kick off this video in a place you've probably found yourself in a hundred times before. You're at a crossroads. The narcissist has done something unforgivable. Yet, the only way to keep them in your life is to forgive them and hope for the best. It'll take some time, you say. You've got to earn it, right? And maybe they even, at that point, acknowledge the wrongdoing. And maybe they don't. But either way, the choice is to stay and forgive or to leave for good this time. You might even think that the biggest risk in staying is that they'll continue hurting you in the same way. But that's not even a risk. It's a given. And in the meantime, they will use your forgiveness to make you sorry you stayed. But before we get to that, let's talk about what forgiveness is and what it isn't. Forgiveness isn't forgetting, although the narcissist would like you to believe that it is. And forgiveness is also not the same as letting something go. You may decide not to argue or not to bring something up again for the sake of keeping the peace, but it doesn't mean you've forgiven them. Still, especially early on, I think most of us have been guilty of offering forgiveness to people who did not really deserve it. And the consequences tend to be swift and painful. So let's look at the first way a narcissist will weaponize your forgiveness, and that's by using it to reset the blame. Narcissists love to approach relationship issues with a clean slate, but only when it benefits them. They like to use phrases like, let's just wipe the slate clean, or let's forget about the past and start fresh. And what they mean by this is they want you to forget everything they've done that has required your forgiveness. So, you know, if it's the first time, you can't be that upset about it, right? We're starting fresh. No hard feelings get to carry over from the past. And you'll notice that this never, ever works in reverse. So this clean slate doesn't apply to things you've done or reasons they've been upset with you in the past. They can bring those things up at any time. In fact, I'll throw at you a frustrated, you always do this in the same breath they use to ask for that clean slate. And listen, that clean slate when you're in this, especially if a trauma bond is at play, it can be really tempting. I mean, imagine nothing terrible happened before, and now you can approach this relationship with the clean slate that you would if you just met this person, except you have all of the positive feelings that you carry forward. So unfortunately, that's not usually how things work, and it's especially not how things work with a narcissist, because those old things are always going to come back up again. You will always regret that clean slate. There's that saying that goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And the sad part of it all is the second, third, or fifth time, it hurts so much more than the first because it includes a lot more shame and self-blame. That shame on me part of it really does stick. In fact, the more you're fooled or the more you allow them to get away with their bad behavior, the less you're going to blame them. And over time, the rage dulls, and what's left is a self-image that fades more and more each day. And sadly, the more your self-image is tarnished, the more likely you are to fall for the narcissist's nonsense. And the cycle continues. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina. I'm a toxic relationship recovery coach. And if you think you've had a relationship with a narcissist, I have a free checklist that can help you see how your experience stacks up with the phases of narcissistic abuse. And you'll find the link for that in the description. So now let's talk about how narcissists will leverage your forgiveness to justify their future behavior. And this one is a real gem. Because after all, if you were able to forgive them the first time, it must not have been so bad, right? And meanwhile, it took everything you had to forgive them last time, and now it feels like you have nothing left to give. They may also turn it around on you for daring to bring up the topic again. So when you bring up behavior they're repeating, they'll shame you and blame you for beating a dead horse. They might say something like, I thought we were past this, or how many times can we talk about the same thing? Um, I don't know, how many times can you do the same thing? So another way a narcissist will weaponize your forgiveness is by gaslighting you about the need for forgiveness. So for example, let's say you caught the narcissist in your life saying terrible things about you behind your back. It felt like a knife to the chest, and it really took a lot to let them back in. Once the dust settles, they might say something like, I can't believe you were even mad about that. 
which is a fancy way of saying you're overreacting or you're too sensitive, which are very common gaslighting phrases. And this may even work if you've been exposed to this type of abuse for long enough. It's easy to think that you're the problem when you have a narcissist in your ear constantly telling you that you're the problem. So the next way a narcissist will weaponize your forgiveness is one of the worst. And that's as proof of your undying love. So let's say you're in a monogamous relationship with a narcissist and they get caught cheating and there's no talking their way out of it. It's public, it's out there. Everyone saw, everyone knows. There's no way to wiggle out of it this time. They may say something like, you forgave me for that, so we must be soulmates. That must mean that we're meant to be because you wouldn't have forgiven that if we weren't soulmates or twin flames or meant to be or whatever it is. And you may also hear their entitlement coming out full force as they say things like, I know you'll never leave me or you'll always forgive me no matter what. And this just reinforces their belief that they can keep pushing your limits and you'll keep coming back. And unfortunately, this is the type of narcissistic supply that most narcissists will keep coming back for. And I say unfortunately because it also takes a really intense toll on their target or their victim. But I will say this, it's also that much more surprising when you finally have had enough and walk away for good. They definitely will not see that coming. And sometimes that's the best closure you can get. But the danger in falling for this particular manipulation is that if you believe it, somehow your virtue becomes tied to your forgiveness and you might end up feeling like a bad person or like you've given up on them should you decide to leave. But don't fall for that trap. You can be just as good or actually a whole lot better when you're not putting up with someone else's entitlement and abuse. And another way a narcissist will weaponize your forgiveness is by using it to call you a liar. So let's say the narcissist has apologized for something. Maybe it's lying, maybe it's cheating, whatever it is, fill in the blank. Or maybe they haven't actually apologized, but you've decided to forgive them anyway. And maybe it's for the sake of keeping the peace, or maybe it's just for the sake of your own sanity to get those bad feelings off of your heart. So then inevitably the same issue comes up again because we all know they were never sorry in the first place. Unfortunately, we tend to look for apologies and sincerity and can mistake their fear of consequences for them actually being sorry they hurt your feelings. And so you may just decide to forgive them, thinking that they're sorry when they're really just focused on how this situation will affect them. So now, the second time around, you're not feeling so forgiving, naturally. And so you bring up the patterns of their abusive behavior, including the thing that you had previously and obviously mistakenly forgiven. So if it was a big lie you'd forgiven, for example, you may bring it back up when you uncover a new lie because patterns are so extremely relevant and it's okay to admit when we're wrong. So for example, when we forgive someone that we really shouldn't have. But from the narcissist's perspective, this all goes against that clean slate mentality. So instead of taking accountability for anything, they'll choose to see it as you being disingenuous. After all, you have to be the problem. And you did say you forgave them. And here you are no longer forgiving them. So it has to be a you problem, right? So if you're thinking about forgiving a narcissist, I have one question for you. Have you gone no contact? Because if you haven't, forgiveness is gonna be near impossible. Forgiveness really is for you, and it feels kind of like shedding a heavy weight. But I also won't repeat the old cliche that it's a gift you give to yourself, because I think it happens much more gradually than that. It's not like you decide you're going to forgive and suddenly this weight comes off. It's definitely something that happens over time. So if right now you're ready to stop the cycle of abuse and are able to go no contact, watch the video that's just about to pop up on the screen where I share exactly what you can expect from the moment you block their number to the moment they realize you are actually serious and everything in between. But before you go, be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.